Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Uh, in this video, I wanted to explain something that is pretty useful that I uh, use in every uh, automation, especially every AI agent automation that I do, that, that I uh, use chat uh, to start and end the automation with. And in this one, I wanted to go over Telegram. Now, why did I choose Telegram is because it has this instant uh, trigger. Now, uh, just to explain a little bit, a trigger is a way to start a, an automation and the trigger can either be, it can, it can be a schedule uh, or it can be instant. Now, uh, in, uh, in case of Slack, for example, it's all, if, you, if you use Slack message, then it will be on schedule. So it will check every five minutes or, or whatever, you, whatever time frame you set, it will check if there's new messages. But what if you wanted the, uh, the chat experience with the AI agent to be uh, basically instant? So whenever you send the message or whenever you receive a message, it's instant. And for that case, uh, I think uh, Telegram is uh, the only option uh, available right now for instant uh, chat with, with, with whatever AI agent you create. And to do that, you have to do a series of nodes uh, to connect uh, with. And, and this, uh, this setup here that I'm using, I use basically uh, on most of the AI agents that I use. So it's something that I find myself repetitively doing. So I thought I would share this with you guys uh, on uh, the workflow of that. Now, don't don't worry about this. You can download this on my store. Uh, I will put the link in the description below. Uh, you can find it in this AI agent boilerplate template. Uh, here you can just download it and you can just simply on the three dots in, import the blueprint and you will be off to go. Now you can purchase this one or you can uh, purchase the whole uh, 42 plus automations. Uh, it's it's a very very big pack of a lot of very important and useful automations uh, that you can buy, that you can sell, for example, or, or that you can repurpose. Uh, so I will include include the boilerplate in here as well, the template in here as well. So in case you want to buy this, or if you're only interested in this, you can you can get this one. Uh, all right. So let me explain a little bit what's happening here. So first we have this Telegram bot that is uh, uh, that is like waiting for updates. So this is a webhook. Uh, so uh, a webhook is, uh, as I explained in other videos, is an instant. It's, a, it's like an address that is waiting for things to, uh, to uh, waiting to receive uh, information. And this is why it's instant. As you can see, if you create any uh, webhooks, uh, it's always instant. So this is this Telegram bot is based on a webhook. Now, once we receive a message which is instant, I set up a router because I want to check: am I getting an audio message or am I getting a text message? Uh, and to to check that, we have a filter here. This filter goes in and checks: do, do I have any attachment in whatever message that I get? Do I have any attachment? So I'm 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 filtering if. Uh, this one if the attachment exists so if it does exist then we'll take this route and the route I named it as audio here okay so I have a filter here that checks if there's attachment in the message that we're receiving if it if there is attachment then it's probably an audio message so what happens next okay I have an audio message then I'm using OpenAI uh, the, the whisper. So what the whisper does is it, it takes the audio and uh, transform it into text. And what I'm doing is, okay, I'm taking the Telegram download file bot. So, uh, so this one here, uh, basically, if it, if it is an audio, then download the file. So if it is an audio, then download the file. And the file is from here. It has a file ID from this one. So download the file and uh, then uh, the file downloaded gets uh, automatically uh, put in here inside the whisper for OpenAI in order to just uh, to make a transcription of, uh, of that audio. And then after that, I'll do a set variable. Um, I name it audio message and I give it uh, the, uh, and I put the variable of the text that I got from, uh, from the whisper transcription. 
Now, I have this path finished, right? So this path, this path is finished. And if you are, in, of course, you guys are, uh, you do a lot of automations. You know that in make.com, the, uh, the direction goes from uh, left to right, top to bottom. So the top one f gets finished first, if, there's a, if the filter is fine. Is if the filter is uh, positive, finishes first, and then the second one always happens. So it's always uh, it, it always gets made, and the second one is uh, what I do is the get variable. So if it is on audio, it finishes this, and we're setting up a variable, and then we're getting the variable, and we're getting the variable called audio message, the one that we created here. And then we're setting up another variable. So this variable is the user message because we don't know, did we get, uh, uh, do we have an audio or do we have a text? And this uh, variable has an if uh, empty condition. So uh, basically what the if empty condition it, it does is if it, if it checks, it checks first if the first one uh, the first one is empty, then use the second one, okay? If the first one isn't empty, then we use the first one, exactly what we want. So this checks, do I have an audio message? If I, if I do have an audio message, then it proceeds with this. If I don't have an audio message, if this one is empty, if this variable is empty, then it goes in the text one, the, the text message. And this is exactly what we want. So we want to check if we if it's an audio, then we probably have it done in the first one, use that. And if it's a text, then, uh, and then we don't have an audio. If we don't have an audio, then use the text. So, and then here in this area happens all of your automation. You can build whatever nodes you want. You can build the most complex, automation that you have and then at the end there is always remember to have a way to send back so to make a response to send back uh, uh, to, uh, yeah to send back the message okay so these section though so if you if you if you if you look this section is the first part and this section is the last part and your automation happens in here. And this one, this boilerplate, this template I use in most of the AI agents that I, that I create. Uh, okay, so I hope this was beneficial to you guys. Um, I'll include the link in the description below if you wanna get this and uh, start building uh, all of your agents this way. <clears throat> I hope you find this explanation uh, useful. Uh, if you did like it, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.